Hi, welcome to another video. So, there are new rumors about DeepSeek R2, and I wanted to talk about them because I found them really interesting. Apparently, Huawei somewhere released some of their lab data about how DeepSeek is using their chips, and they also revealed some information about R2. R2 is said to be about a 1.2 trillion parameter model that is going to be a hybrid mixture of expert 3.0 architecture, which is almost double the size of R1. It is said to have about 78 billion actual parameters. It is apparently trained on about 5.2 petabytes of data, which is impressive. But it is said to be trained on a self-developed distributed training framework that achieves 82% cluster utilization of the Ascend 910B chip. Ascend 910 is a chip by Huawei, and I believe it is actually being used by DeepSeek for their inference. They apparently have been using the Ascend chips by Huawei for a while now, because they obviously can't get the NVIDIA GPUs due to import issues and whatnot. So, they are only limited to the H800 and the chips that are basically not from outside of China, and Huawei fits right in for that. From what I understand, they mentioned in one of their previous updates that the Huawei processor exceeded expectations in inference performance. Additionally, with manual optimizations of CUN kernels, its efficiency could be further improved. DeepSeek's native support for Ascend processors and its PyTorch repository allows for seamless Xuda to CUN conversion with minimal effort, making it easier to integrate Huawei's hardware into AI workflows. Now, these GPUs are lower in cost and good at energy efficiency when compared with something like the H800, and it apparently brings the cost down by 98% which is quite good. I mean, they are mostly known for that, so that isn't something to be surprised about at this point. The training framework is on a Huawei cluster at FP16 Precision, which is kind of cool. Now, take this stuff with a grain of salt, because these are rumors, and not all of them are true. So, let me tell you what I think are the pieces of truth in here. First of all, there's a big issue in these rumors. I believe, just like in deep seek fashion, first, we'll see a V4 or maybe a V3.5 model. This is because, as you know, the R1 model is based on the V3 model, and the V3 model was actually updated recently, but the R1 model wasn't. So, it may be that we'll get a new 3.5 model imminently, and then that will be followed by R1.5, and then we'll get the V4 model and R2. I think that it just depends on what they name the models. They can obviously name the 3.5 models as 4. Secondly, the Huawei chips talk is pretty real. You see, the Huawei Ascend chips are something that they have openly said they are using for inference. It achieves comparable performance to NVIDIA's counterparts, while being energy efficient, which is kind of cool if you ask me. Now, the original Ascend 910 chips were good, but not as great. However, recently there were reports that they have made a new chip called 910C, which is apparently an amalgamation of two of the 910B chips. It performs similarly to NVIDIA's H100 while being cheaper and having a lower power draw, which is pretty awesome. DeepSeek and Huawei seem to be working quite closely for this to happen, because, well, DeepSeek has no way to import chips and GPUs anymore, and all eyes are on them these days. So, they have been working hard to get this done. I mean, you see how they launched their inference stack these days, and they actually recently, like a week or two ago, also added the whole inference engine on their GitHub repo, which basically showed that they actually just use an early fork of VLM from over a year ago that is structurally similar 
and heavily customized for DeepSeek models. Their training also uses mainly PyTorch, just like most of us training models in our basements, which shows that their stuff is generally not overcomplicated and just super optimized for their use. Like, they have repos that move out from NVIDIA's Kikuda and expand into other horizons. So, there's that. Huawei chips are also getting compatibility layers for CUDA, which makes the training even better. It's just awesome to see mostly a monopoly of NVIDIA GPUs getting broken by something like DeepSeek and Huawei. Because, I mean, even using AMD chips for training is almost not possible, since most of the libraries literally just don't support it. We do need some new players in this sector, because training models shouldn't only mean NVIDIA. And I believe necessity is the mother of invention. Because DeepSeek and China don't have the required chips, they can bring up something even better. I am really excited for any release from DeepSeek, because it's always awesome. I have been making videos about them since DeepSeek V, 1 and V2 days. And although their models weren't very good, they were always greatly priced and open source. I always liked them, and it was great to see that V3 and R1 really helped them get the world's attention and made companies like OpenAI scared and talking about releasing their own open source model, which I think is just talk, and we won't see anything soon. But anyway, I am really and superbly excited for DeepSeek R2 and V4 or even any new model from them. Let me know what you guys think about this, and what you think about the new models that may be launched by DeepSeek in the upcoming months. I actually really liked their not-so-much-announced DeepSeek V3 upgrade, because it really made the model extremely good at coding and everything. If I were DeepSeek, then I could have easily called it DeepSeek 3.5, but it seems that they are not doing that. And that's what makes me believe that we can get some really good and cool models in the upcoming months. Probably the models can also be omnimodal, because their Janus experiment hinted towards it. So, we might get one with speech-to-speech -speech and stuff like that. But, we'll see about that. I hope that they remain open source, and let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.